We are in England, all right? We're going to a gym right now. I got a special guest you'll find out very, very shortly. And here, I saw the thumbnail and title, so they already know who it is. All right, we're ready to roll, baby. What's up? This is Joe Fazer, guys. Look at him, he's in the flesh right now. He's a little bit taller than me. I don't like that he's taller than me. I'm gonna deal with my 5'5 five five short man syndrome, but we're gonna have a good lift. Yep. Good pump. We've been speaking for quite a while, actually, haven't we? Yeah. We've been speaking since 2020, July 2020. Yeah. So it's good to meet up in person. We're in some like proper old school dungeon. It's yeah. very late at night. Yeah, it's, it's late vibes, as hell. Bro. I can't lie. And I feel like it feels like a late night like Tinder hookup. You know, like you, you ask him to come over late, and you're just like you don't know what to expect, and then you just show up in like the back alley parking lot, and then too much. Uh, ooh, mm, too much. Too much. <laughs> Anyways, let's work out. All right, so we're going into some pull-ups right now. This guy has like a broken shoulder or something. For me, it just sounds like a lot of excuses, all right? <laughs> gym lads, gym bros around the country, they're always like, my arm hurts, but I don't know what it is. My shoulder is f***ed up, I can't lie. Right now, I'm you can down. spot me. Okay. If you'd like. Yeah, I'd love that. That's how you spot in America. Mm. Yes. <laughs> That's how you get close to somebody. Do you train to like failure? Uh, like you train depends, hard? It depends on the exercise. Okay. So, you, I'm, I'm like a top set, back off set kind of. Oh, you are? Yeah. I'm like a four set, four set failure three. on everything, drop set everything. Like I, I'm a bit of both. Okay. Like the big lifts, like the dumbbell press. Yeah. I'll be the drop, uh, top set, back off set, but then if I'm doing like pet flies, it'll be like four sets. Yeah. Burn out, basically. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Wait, 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 we need the, I don't have a full pump. Yeah, but probably the lighting is quite nice. Is it nice right here? Yeah. Yeah, but you're bigger in person. Let's go! Let's I'm, go. I'm not just saying that. I'm not just Thank saying Thank you, that. I appreciate that. Let me just go. <laughs> what would you say motivates you the most? Like, what keeps you going? What keeps me going? Good question. Yeah. Um, Besides Viagra. I'm just kidding. Have you used Viagra? No. That's bull. I don't. Oh, why? Well, well, I have endorsed it before. Uh, no, I don't use it. I don't need it. Have you? There's no shame. A lot of dudes do. Wow. What's it like? I don't really feel it, to be fair. Yeah, but the situation oh. you used. No, it. you used it. You used I've it. used it. You've but used I'm, it. Yeah, but the way he's used it. What'd you use it for? Oh, a yeah, pump? You... No. Oh, how do you how do you use it for a pump? Yeah. You can use Cialis for a pump. Yeah. I've never done it. Yeah. What motivates you like the most? I'd say there's a. There's a a multitude of factors. The first one is the obvious one in the fact that it's now the job. Yeah, you know, very true, very to look true. good, all of this sort of so stuff. So that's more like dedication side. Yeah. Then it's also like just how much I hated being so, so skinny and how much confident you feel when you fill out a t-shirt, Yeah. Uh, when you get a good photo of yourself, all of this stuff. It's quite vain reasons, but... Yeah. You know, <laughs> like it's nothing good. super inspiring, like I, know, I yeah. love changing the world and all this <laughs> stuff. I just like look, looking good in a t-shirt, to be fair. <laughs> Gotta well, look good naked you? somehow. What about you? What keeps me motivated first? Like fitness wise. What motivates me the most in the gym? For the gym. YouTube now, would you say? I feel like it's work. Yeah. But I will say like, if I don't work out for a week, like I genuinely feel f***ed in the head. Yeah. And then if I like, and then I go hit a session and I feel so damn good. I think, I think the less I record, like this, I don't know, we're chilling right now. It's not as like crazy, you know, it's not like a main channel video. So yeah. it's like, I'm not like thinking every two seconds of what to say and stuff. Yeah. But like when I'm filming my workouts, definitely like de it deteriorates the quality of the workout. Oh god, gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. So like, because so, you want a good clip. Yes. Yeah. And like that's all I'm thinking about. So that's like kind of been one of the reasons like I've struggled with, especially when I lived in LA. It was really difficult because I was posting three times a week, and all of them were workouts. Yeah. So I was like trying to actually work out and film, Hard. and it's really difficult. Yeah. It's kind of like you kind of get one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've been speaking to you off camera, yeah. and, like in the car. You're exactly like you are. Oh, shit. In video. I've been saying Thank you. I appreciate that. Because I'm not. I, here's the thing everyone always, like, especially when I first was like on the come up, everyone was like, dude, this, his, he's definitely faking his attitude, his personality, because I was so like, woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, you know how much energy it would take to fake my personality? Yeah, for that long as well. Especially, like, three times a week, like, yeah. posting. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, I'm just genuinely like a giddy person. Are you a natural extrovert, or would you say yes. you're not? You I'm are. I'm 100% an extrovert. Yeah. I get out socialized after talking for like seven days straight. Like, I'll, before this, I was like, I don't feel like, like speaking. Like, I wanted to go do this, but I don't want to talk. But now I'm like chilling. Once yeah. I, this, I get energy from people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I knew, like, just go hang out and I'll get energy. Just you know what I'm I'd say I'm not that confident. 
But if I'm if I've got a camo on me, I'll do some confident stuff. Like the body suit, for example. Yeah. The muscle suit, for example. Me going up and doing random shit with that. I would never do that in my life if a yeah. camo wasn't on me. Because I know if I go home and I've not got good clips, I will feel so sure. Yes, so that sort of trained me at the beginning where I would be like, if I don't give it my all, I'm going to regret it because yeah. it only hurts me, so yeah. I have to stop caring about other people's opinions. I definitely have built a, like, a resilience to um, caring about what other people think, because I definitely used to care more, you know, yeah. like high school, you're going to care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then after doing it over and over and over, you stop giving a shit when you realize that not caring benefits you more than caring. So I was like, fuck that, I'm done giving a shit about anything. Yes, I guess there are moments where I'm going to be caring about what people think of me, I guess. You know, I don't cancel, don't want to do something stupid, don't hurt someone's feelings. Yeah. But at the end of the day, how I treat myself and think of myself is like, it's just gonna portray to everybody and be fine. Like yeah. nothing bad is gonna happen to me acting a certain way. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And like, like you said, like going out in public and doing those crazy things, I've learned that I, like in the beginning, I was like so nervous to do the asking girls and then I was like, okay, once you get good at it, and I realized it was a skill, like, I think I have a skill. Yeah. I, have an, I have a skill to interview and not, like, everything is not planned. I just go to the beach and fucking, I don't really do it that much anymore, but when I did, yeah. it's like you're just going and club everything. And I learned, like, when you're good at it, it's fun, man. Well, let's give it up for him. We got a special guest in the house. We want to be the only. Let's go! How you doing, man? Nice to meet you, man. How you doing, man? Right. The energy's here, let's go. Bro, it was a long drive, man. I live in South London, so it was like over three hours before we today. But it's worth it, we've got the man in the flesh, let's go. Yeah! Let's go. Right. Now her shadow's leaving, got me running, trying to catch it. She told me, boy, you a asshole. You know that's a line, you just want to start a battle. I fell in love with a bad bitch. Now her shadow's leaving, got me running, trying to catch it. This is the JPG, though, isn't it? Yeah, some bull. This is like how that. I've seen it, yeah. It's optimal. You optimal. know what's optimal? Feeling it. That doesn't, I don't care what I'm doing, I just gotta feel it. Are you one of those guys? Yeah. You're not the optimal guy. No, I don't care. My muscle connection guy. Yeah, if it burns, <laughs> it works. But no, I think that's so true. Yeah. I think people overcomplicate. Yeah, especially if you get chlamydia, that shit burns like crazy. I've been over all that. What? Are you speak from personal experience. Bro, I, tell personal experience. I tell you what, Jesse has said so many comments while I'm just standing there like, what the fuck did I say to you? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? We're in Stoke on Trent, mate. Stoke? Stoke on Trent. Stoke on Trent. Stoke on Trent? <laughs> Say it in a British accent. Stoke, Stoke, Stoke on Trent. I'm in Stoke on Trent, mate. That was, that was horrible. <laughs> I'm in Stoke on Trent, mate. <laughs> Matey? That was better. That was better. Stoke on Trent. You know what? Is, is, that, that, is that possible? I'm Stoke on Trent, boys! Do you know what? what? Uh, do you know what's better than like really good music in the gym? Me? When you're working out, Jesse shouting Stoke <laughs> on Trent. Stoke on Trent! Stoke on Trent! That's like Indian now. I was trying to just like say the accent, man. I just can't do it. It's so funny. Whenever they talk, they just sound so much smarter than like. Not that you aren't smart, but like. Wait, what are you trying to say, bro? He's a smart guy. No, just like you sound more intelligent than, yeah, than I would sound. Alright, you know what? It's time. We have to just take our shirts off. No. Bro, I've got. Wait, hold on. Give us 20 more minutes. <laughs> I just got See, this guy's trying to sabotage me. He's all pumped up. I literally just walk through the door. This is sabotage. Dude, I just yeah. kidding, Brad. We're so in the head, we're like, hold on, I can't stand here, the light's not above me. I'm not gonna lie, you've been, you've been getting big and lean lately. Yesterday, I, was I think I told you this, right? Yeah. I was like, I think, I was like, I, I don't know, man, I feel like he's like on something. Looking a little dry. Like, you're looking dry <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and like popping. I don't know. In the future, though, am I? Oh, you think so? Yeah. Really? 100%? No, not 100%. I don't know, I've spoken about it on a podcast before, and it's like, but why would you? What's your so do t t t Just because I, well, I'll definitely do TRT in the future. For a series, would you never be like 60 days on test? Imagine the views, bro. If you did that. You I don't want to mess with my hormones. Yeah, right. I don't want to ball. My biggest fear is balding. Balding? Yeah. Fair. I just want kids, mate. That's about it. No, no, I don't mind. Yeah. I can go bald, but I just want kids. No, I, I want to have kids one day. Huh? You can still have yeah, kids. Yeah, but it's definitely lessons. Down. It's lessons, it, yeah. But I don't know. I've thought about it, yeah, because, um, some of my friends that I like all started with, we came out all natural and then they hopped on and I'm seeing them progress. And it's like all guys that I started training with and whatnot. And it's kind of like, you know, you're looking at them and yeah. you're like, oh, kind of what would happen if I did? Yeah. But you just have to, everyone has to take their own path and not just follow what other people are doing. I just think the risk isn't worth it. Like, clearly you can be successful and 
In the fitness industry in Nashville. That's a lion, you just want to start a battle. I fell in love with a bad bitch. Now her shadow's leaving, got me running, trying to catch it. She told me, boy, you an asshole. You know that's a lion, you just want to start a battle. I fell in love with a bad bitch. Now her shadow's leaving, got me running, trying to catch it. Tell me, boy, you asshole. That's gonna be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, guys. We're on the road to. I don't even know, man, but if you're watching this, you're a real one, alright? I love you so much. For Jesse and Emily and Gorilla. I'll see you guys next time. Stay relentless. Peace.